On January 2, 2024, a Japan Airlines Airbus A350 collided with a Coast Guard aircraft upon landing. Video of the landing aircraft taken as night fell shows the aircraft rolling down the runway with fire coming from the engine area. The survival of everyone on board the now disintegrated A350 demonstrated the professionalism of crew and the importance of passenger cooperation. At the same time, we mourn the loss of life for those who were on board the Dash 8 Coast Guard aircraft. In this video, we examine the details of the incident and what investigators have found thus far. The flight of JL-516, operated by an Airbus A350-900, had arrived in Tokyo from Sapporo at 17.47 local time. The airframe involved was registered Juliet Alpha 13 X-Ray Juliet and was just two years old at the time of the incident. We know that the Airbus A350 was cleared by Tokyo Haneda's control tower to land on runway 34 right. This clearance was given at 17.44. A minute later, the Coast Guard aircraft contacted the tower, saying, Tower JA-722A on taxiway C. Good evening, JA-722A, Tokyo Tower, number 1. Please taxi to the runway stop position on C5. To this, the Dash 8 replied, Heading to runway stop position C5, number one. Thank you. As reported by Aviation Week, the Dash 8 did not stop at the hold short line on C5 and instead taxied onto the runway. Backed up by surveillance footage, it was determined that the Dash 8 moved onto runway 34 right and stopped. This is something a pilot would do if executing a quote unquote line up and wait. ATC command that gives an aircraft permission to enter the runway but not depart. With this information, the Associated Press reports that police launched a separate probe into possible professional negligence. With the Dash 8 on the runway less than a minute before the A350 was to touch down, there was little that could be done by the A350 to prevent the accident. Making the situation that much more difficult was the fact that it had already become dark with the Dash 8 even more difficult to see. Fumio Higuchi, a former captain for Japan's all-Nippon Airways, told Nikkei Asia, Accident images show JL-516 in flames with its nose down and the tail up, indicating that the nose wheels were lost. Higuchi told media that he suspects that the collision occurred before the nose wheels contacted the runway. At the same time, crash images show the main landing gear intact, allowing the plane to stay upright," he added. Another concerning detail about the January 2nd incident is that a NOTAM message had been issued on December 27th, noting that stop bar lights had malfunctioned. These lights warn pilots not to head onto the runway at the wrong time. At the same time, Business Insider reports that there are other indicators to prevent a runway incursion. This includes the red and white 16 right 34 left runway sign, as well as painted markings. The solid yellow line on the ground indicates a pilot needs clearance to pass. As we already know, the Dash 8 did not have clearance to enter the runway. After the Japan Airlines A350 struck the Dash 8, it continued sliding down the runway. With the collision taking place at C5, Aerial footage of the aftermath shows that the A350 stopped at about C11. In the dark of night, with smoke filling the cabin, passengers were guided to the aircraft's available emergency exits. As some people may already know, an important piece of advice given to those seated at emergency exits is to first look out the window to see if the door is safe to open. This guidance would have been critical, as some flames grew outside the aircraft. Miraculously, all 367 passengers and 12 crew on the A350 survived the accident. As per the latest updates from the Tokyo Fire Department, at least 17 passengers and crew sustained injuries, with no further details provided. Considering the extent of the fire and how it gutted the aircraft's fuselage, the crew must have enforced the airline's evacuation procedures exceptionally. Footage shown on local television captures the moment passengers fled across the runway as the plane burned behind them. Passengers appear to have remained surprisingly composed, 
even as smoke filled up the cabin. Japan Airlines estimated that the hull loss of the A350-900 will cost approximately 15 billion Japanese yen, equivalent to about $104.81 million. The accident marks the first ever hull loss of an A350 aircraft since the type was introduced into service nearly nine years ago by Qatar Airlines. It also marks the first hull loss for Japan Airlines since the loss of Flight 123 in 1985. According to Reuters, AIG is the lead insurer on a $130 million all-risks policy for the Japanese aircraft, mainly covering hull damage. The airline is also working with other insurers to compensate passengers. Several days after the incident, crews at Honoda Airport started to move the charred remains of the aircraft to hangars. One week after the fiery and fatal collision, Hanada's runway 16 left 34 right was reopened. The runway where the crash occurred is one of four at the busy International Gateway. The other three runways were reopened on the night of the crash. Naturally, the incident runway had to remain closed due to the investigation, debris cleanup, and repairs. The reopening came at the same time as the bodies of the victims were returned to their families. The January 2nd incident reportedly resulted in the cancellation of more than 1,200 flights, impacting over 200,000 passengers during New Year travel. Operations at Hanada have since been somewhat normal as all scheduled flights have resumed. As for the Coast Guard aircraft, we know that it was a de Havilland Dash 8300, registered Juliet Alpha 722 Alpha. At the time of the collision, the aircraft had conducted its third trip in 24 hours. Notably, the turboprop was on its way to deliver vital supplies to Niigata Airport in Ishikawa Prefecture, an area that was hit by a major earthquake the day prior. Local police confirmed that five out of the six individuals on board the Coast Guard aircraft perished in the crash, and only the captain of the plane survived the incident. Despite what we know from the transcripts, the captain of the Coast Guard plane said he was cleared to enter the runway. This could be seen as a miscommunication or misunderstanding. In light of all that has happened, changes have been made at Hanada. As reported by the Japan Times, it's considered most likely that the Coast Guard captain misheard or misinterpreted number one. This is a phrase used by the control tower to communicate the order of departure for planes standing by. It's possible that this phrase was taken as a green light to enter the runway. Given this, the announcement of the departure order has been halted, as it is not an absolutely necessary step in the takeoff procedure. Instead, the control tower will simply give takeoff clearance to simplify orders. Additionally, it's being reported that there will be a new job at the airport. This will see an individual solely responsible for monitoring the radar that tracks activity on the runway. Upon detecting the entry of a plane that has not yet been ordered to proceed, the staff member would immediately notify others. What do you think of the cause and the outcomes of this incident? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment. Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.